Well, as Russia's war on Ukraine approaches the one-year mark, at the end of this week, President Biden is in Poland today meeting with NATO allies. And we have Sunrise reporter Cordero McMurray in studio with us to tell us what's on the president's agenda. Good morning. Good morning, Sarah. The President Biden will meet with NATO allies on the eastern flank, known as the Bucharest Nine, along with NATO Secretary General on his final day in Poland. Tuesday, the president delivered a defiant speech in Warsaw, declaring unwavering support of Kiev and NATO while slamming Russia's invasion of Ukraine nearly one year ago. Just hours earlier, Russian President Vladimir Putin addressed his supporters, blaming the West for the war in Ukraine and suspending Moscow's the last remaining nuclear arms reduction treaty with the U.S., known as the New START Treaty. But then Russia's foreign minister later said it would abide by the treaty. The United Nations is urging cooperation. A world without nuclear arms control is a far more dangerous and unstable one with potentially catastrophic consequences. Now, a U.S. official tells CBS News Russia carried out a failed intercontinental ballistic missile test Monday during President Biden's surprise visit to Kiev. The National Security Council also telling CBS News the federal government will continue to monitor the situation, saying so far there's no indication Putin's willing or preparing to use nuclear weapons in Ukraine. I'm Cordero McMurray. Chris, 6 Sunrise. Back to you, Sarah.